my powerful conscious creators. If you are new here, I am Bailey with Create Your Future. My videos are all about how to become the best version of yourself with tips on how you can do just that effortlessly along with uncovering your blocks. I like to focus on self-empowerment along with developing a growth mindset through the standpoint of law of assumption. Now, my videos air every Sunday morning and you definitely don't want to miss them considering every time you watch one of my videos, you get an aha moment. Now, if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button or like and comment below so more people just like you can start their journey with me today. Remember, it is your reality and you create your own set of rules. This is all just my own personal assumptions of how the law works in my reality. I obviously am big on having the word manifestation in my immediate vocabulary, but I have noticed some people get turned off by the idea of calling it that due to the mystical, magic, spiritual association it has. So if you are someone who is a bit more logical or scientific, you can just call it implementing a positive mindset or as I like to call it, subconscious reprogramming. Now, there have been so many amazing studies and CIA documents to prove exactly what we are doing works. So literally, there is no need to question this stuff, guys. I mean, I am living proof along with all of you. I want you guys to really instill into your minds that we are creating our reality based off of the assumptions and beliefs we have about how other people relate to us, how life works for us, and who we are as a person. No matter how deep you feel these beliefs are, whether you are unconscious or conscious of them, meaning you are aware or unaware of all of the stories you are carrying, you can simply rewrite this narrative for yourself at any time. And since we are still super heavy and the new year, new me energy, I want to take full advantage of your all's motivation. I really want you guys to understand your power. I have the understanding that I am a powerful conscious creator, as are all of you. You can choose what to think, feel, and believe about yourself in relation to anything in the world. You have to understand that most of our behavior is habit-driven. And as soon as we break those habits, we can begin to identify ourselves with more favorable narratives. Now, most of your day-to-day -day activities happen because you are on autopilot. So if you put in the work for a few weeks, months, however long it takes to regulate your new programming, that is all it will take for you to be able to now have autopilot thoughts in your favor. The things that you guys can do to quote unquote put in the work are different methods that I have gone over before, such as having a clean mental diet, affirming, scripting, visualizing, etc., etc. You guys can choose what works for you to completely saturate your mind daily. And I have great examples of that in my new course, The Ultimate Guide to Mastering Manifesting. Now, today I am going to share a little of what you would find in there because I understand not everyone has access to purchase my courses, so I know free content was always my favorite thing while I was personally building up to where I am at today. However, if you are someone who wants a guided daily blueprint, I will have my courses linked down below, so be sure to check those out. Okay, guys. Today is the day that we are going to stop being the biggest critic of ourselves and really start embracing the new us. So I want you to ask yourself, do you believe you can manifest your dreams? Do you believe you are worthy of your desires? If you are hesitant to answer yes, then those are two core reasons why manifesting may not be working for you. You simply create your own resistance to manifesting your dream. Sometimes we do this by clinging to the outcomes of our manifestation so tightly 
that it sets off fear and anxiety around not having it yet. When we are too attached to a certain outcome, it puts us into a lack state as we are dwelling on what is not here yet. You guys don't want to be so focused on it that you become nervous. You won't get it, okay? Because when you're constantly questioning it, you are simply implying over and over to your subconscious that you don't actually trust you will get what it is that you're wanting. You can either have a lack mindset or a growth mindset. There is simply no in-between when it comes to your subconscious thinking. Now, The good news is you can easily reprogram your mind to become your biggest supporter and as Neville says, serve one master, okay? So what can we do now to get there? Well, I want us to have a focused thinking sesh together or what some call meditation. I personally right now for this topic like calling it, you know, this focused thinking session because I think that we have a lot of anxiety around meditating and what it actually is. So to take the pressure off, we are just going to focus our thinking together. And that's super easy, guys, because we literally do this every single day, okay? So what I want you to get out of this is to really get specific with yourself on what stories you are holding about yourself that needs a serious shift in order for you to experience the life of your dreams. Now, what I want you to do is go ahead, get yourself in a comfy position. You know, maybe you're on break at work in a comfy chair. Maybe you're still in bed. Okay, whatever works for you, just get comfortable. Next, you're going to get out your journal, notebook, paper. I mean, guys, maybe even just open up your notes app on your laptop or phone. It really does not matter as long as you have something to put your thoughts down. Okay, if you guys need to, absolutely, you can pause the video here because I know mine aren't usually interactive, but hey, new year, new content, guys. So go ahead and do what you need to to get situated. Okay, so for this part, we're going to begin with a few deep breaths. You guys are going to breathe in for four, hold for four, and then out for four. Okay, so deep breath in. Hold and release. You guys are going to start letting all of the stress release from your body as you relax with each exhale. Now take another deep breath again. Hold. Go ahead and close your eyelids and release, letting yourself get as comfortable as possible. And last one, inhale, hold, and exhale. You are in control, you are capable, this is done. Now, with your eyes still closed, I want you guys to envision your deepest desire that you have. If you had that beautiful fairy godmother What exactly would you ask to be granted for you right now? Now, this could be owning your own lavish business, being married to your ideal soulmate, having the most amazing body of your dreams. Whatever it is that popped into your mind, I want you to ask yourself, if I could have anything in the world, what would it be? You're going to let go of any doubts or fears that may swim across your mind and only allow your desire to be present. Limitation and fear do not exist in your imaginative world. You have absolutely no resistance. Just focus on what your biggest dream is and simply allow yourself to focus on your life as if it were a movie. You are limitless here, and you want to expand as far as you can. Now, if you find yourself struggling with the visual aspect of this, I want you to simply repeat what it is you want to experience for yourself. Maybe it would be amazing to meet my celebrity crush and have them fall head over heels for me. I would love to be sponsored by Chanel just for taking pictures in their clothes 
I would love to become a paid traveler and quit my job. Okay, whatever it is, just go ahead and sit with yourself for a few moments. Now, I want you guys, as you're visualizing or repeating back these statements, to feel how it would feel if you were experiencing this right now. How does it feel to be the person getting everything that they want? How does it feel to be this version of yourself? This is who you are now. going to open your eyes and get out whatever paper or device you're using and you're going to write out a list of traits of qualities you feel you do not have that the version of you that was fulfilled did have. So what are some key differences that you notice within yourself just now? Now when I personally do this meditation or activity, I have some examples of things that I identify with as my higher self. So for example, my highest bay does not seek instant gratification. She never holds envy or any sort of comparison on any level. She is completely non-reactant and always leads example to whoever is around. She is simply diligent in her practices as she has the utmost faith in herself and the universe at all times. Um, she's always looking at life as school and excited to learn in all forms. She is protective of her energy and who she allows in her reality. She is authentically herself with no sense of shame. Okay, so I want you guys to dig really deep on who the version of your desired self is. I want your qualities to not be surface level, but I want you to dig really deep and get super specific on who you want to be. Like, do you believe in yourself? Do you have boundaries that you respect for yourself? Are you confident? Are you secure in yourself? Do you have a good self-esteem and confidence? Okay, now once you have all these written down, I want you guys to flip these into new affirmations, okay? So start claiming your new self with I am statements. I am secure in everyday life because I believe in myself. 
I am an amazing content creator because I am following my dreams honorably. I am motivated because I have the utmost faith in my power. Okay, do not allow yourself to continue to reason with your imagination and talk yourself out of the things that you want most. The only reason you or anyone around you can talk you out of your own dreams is because you are simply consenting to allowing the negative narrative to write your life. So instead, you are going to show up as your desired self every single day. You are going to repeat these new affirmations and this new story to yourself anytime fears show up, anytime your reasoning mind tells you it just won't happen. Okay, and you can practice this meditation with yourself daily to really get comfortable with how the new you feels naturally. Make it your new autopilot story. You're going to notice big changes around how you think, the actions you take, and your attitude completely. And this is all going to allow you your you know, to step into your new reality, into your life, it's going to just fall into your lap, okay? And now you're going to be able to use this to identify as someone new and as the desired version of yourself. So you're not going to have the same reactions to circumstances. You're not going to accept behavior you used to entertain. You will simply be this desired version of yourself, okay? The best part about all of this is, guys, you can do it right now, okay? So keep persisting. Saturate your mind in the best ways possible. My free vision board template really allows you to set this up for yourself easily. Um, So definitely go ahead and check that out. If you want any help on -on one-on-one motivation, you can sign up for coaching with me or feel free to check out my brand new master manifesting course, If you are like me and you like to work in a step-by-step program, if you guys found this video helpful, like and comment down below. I know I switched things up a little bit this week, so let me know your feedback. I want you guys to keep focusing on what it is you do want and remember to give yourself grace and be grateful for the journey you are on. I intend that this video helped everyone watching and that you watch it as many times as needed. I just know you are enjoying your manifestations and more. So with that being said, goodbye, love bugs, and I will see you next time.